It is almost six o'clock. Good morning. Happy Friday. Yeah, today is Friday. Happy Friday. First day of vacation or my little holiday mini weekend. Um, and yeah, I have the dogs outside. No opossum this morning. We have not met Harold. I think it's because it's lighter out, and I absolutely love that it is 5:42 and it is light out. So look at that. Look at that. Love it. Love it. Definitely gonna try and go for a run, but I think we're gonna go to the grocery store too. I am selling Guido's old stroller today, so I'm meeting somebody. Um, with my mom, of course. I'm not an idiot. I'm not gonna go by myself. Uh-uh. I don't know this person. Um, we do have a mutual friend on Facebook. But, yeah. I don't know how well they know her. But, um, uh, she's gonna bring her dog today. See if he's gonna fit in there. Um, I have no doubt he's probably gonna fit in there. She said he's a Frenchie. And I was checking on her Facebook page, and I think I saw a picture of him. And there's no, no reason he shouldn't fit in there. Um, so this is going to be a hard day, because I'm getting rid of that stroller. Um, it's, it'll be fine. It'll, it'll be better if somebody else gets to enjoy it, because she said she wants to take the Frenchie to her son's baseball games. And, uh, yeah, I'm like, okay, somebody else gets to enjoy it, and it's not upfront, like, collecting dust or anything, or rotting so we're gonna we're gonna do that today and then we're also gonna go grocery shopping and then we're gonna chill and read my book because my goal is to finish fairy tales this weekend start holly and yeah hopefully finish holly this weekend there's no guarantees on that one so let's do this so I'm waiting we're gonna go grocery shopping here soon um but I forgot to tell you guys I took him to my workplace because we had an ultrasound. It was just a fast scan wet lab. And I, sorry, it's dusty right there. I apologize. Um, I couldn't really pass up um, getting a free ultrasound for him. He's 13 and I haven't been the greatest about taking him into the vet. Yes, I know. I work in vet med. <laughs> You're like, wait, you, you get, so he was due for some vaccines anyway. I ended up just getting him the rabies um, because there's, there's a certain point where you want to stop, like, I wanted to stop overloading his body because he's old and I'm like, rabies is the only thing that's required. So we got, he got his rabies vaccine. Um, I actually got some blood work, not the giant panel that I wanted to do, but we don't think he has hyperthyroidism anymore um, because his blood work was freaking immaculate. <laughs> 13 barely gone to the vet and he's like I got this mom I got this it's fine so um the doctor the doctor that did that I work with because there was a bunch of doctors that um from different areas in our like branch of what the vet med that I work in um <clears throat> and uh so she said she didn't really get to get a great look at him because he was starting to wake up as she went to put an ultrasound probe on him um, but she said she did notice slightly, slightly inflamed lymph nodes. <coughs> um, and so she went looking a little bit further to see if maybe he had thickened intestinal lining or anything like that. She didn't see anything like that. So what we're going to do is monitor because he has lost some weight. He's down to like six pounds. Not happy about that. I knew he was really, really skinny. So I've been kind of trying to increase his food. Um, and so... We're going to, um, in a month, I'm going to take him on a day that I have off so I can just pop him back in the car and take him to work, back home, um, because he was not happy being at work, but he was going to be sedated, so, yeah. Um, so a day that I can, I don't know if she's going to want to, she's probably more than likely maybe going to want to sedate him again, um, but we'll do a fast scan first, and then maybe potentially a full ultrasound, um, so... We're going to recheck the fast scan, see if his lymph nodes get any more enlarged or if they're just staying slightly enlarged or if they've gone down. Um, and yeah, then we'll go from there. <laughs> so yeah, he's, I've already got a day picked out for him. It's Friday that that certain doctor works because she is our ultrasound specialist. We love her. Um, so I'm going to just want to give you guys an update on Sid just because I haven't Jenny much of Sid, and he's my 13-year-old old man that I've had since I was, like, young and really, really dumb, like, early 20s. 
<laughs> he's my first pet by myself that I had to pay for. And I'll say, I've done a darn good job because I, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get ready to go to the grocery store because we're going to go grocery shopping. And I may potentially try and find a pool for Ludo. I'm only going to get a small one just because I don't know if he likes water or not. And I want to take him to the dog beach. We have a dog beach that's been closed for three years around here and they're reopening it now. So excited. So I want to take him to the beach, but I want to make sure that he's actually going to enjoy it. I always wanted to take Guido to the beach, but I never thought he'd enjoy it. Um, I'm also, I've already edited and I'm uploading the weekly vlog for this week. I apologize. It is 20 minutes. I am so sorry. I did not mean to do that. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'll, I promise this will be a daily vlog. So I was listening to NPR. Who it was like Tuesday or Wednesday, and they were interviewing Stephen King, and I'm like, oh god, is he coming out with another book? He did. I cannot keep up with this man. I am officially home from grocery shopping, and I was a good girl. Did not buy that Stephen King book I found. I will try and find, I think I'm going to keep looking, maybe I'll look on Amazon, see if they have it for a good price, and then I'll just order it. Um, also, couldn't find my liquid IV I wanted to try. They have Bomb Pop one flavored liquid IV, and I love it for before runs, after runs, so I think I, I found it on Amazon, and I found the big bag that I got with the acai berry ones, um, so I think I'm just going to go with those again. Um... I'm gonna sit, I'm outside with Ludo Potato, and we are just chilling on the back deck because it's beautiful. At some point, I think before dinner tonight, I'm gonna go for a run, maybe after we get home from um, meeting the woman that I'm gonna sell my Guido's stroller in, or two. Um, we're meeting her at like 2.30 today. Um, so I'm eating some lunch. I got one of those mini, I got like four of those mini salad packets. This is the Greek goddess one delicious. I'm loving all of these. So I got a couple of the others that I had tried previously, like the Pizza Ranch one was delicious. The Nashville Hot one was really good. There isn't like a, just a Caesar salad one that I'm absolutely in, uh, obsessed with. So I'm trying to be a little bit healthier. Um, I have the K9K coming up here soon, so I've got to be, got to try. <laughs> so yeah. What? You're cute. Alright, let's just... And just like, hi Snappies! Just like that, it's gone. Um, the lady was very nice. She was already there when we got there, so that was very nice. I kind of like, I couldn't figure out how to get the wheels off because I've never taken them off since I got the thing. And technically you were supposed to, but she was very nice. She's like, oh, I can look that up online. I'm like, thank you. I'm so sorry. She goes, no, that's fine. I'm like, it is a bit of a pain in the butt to try and get together, but what you do, I maneuver is great. I said I ran with my dog in it. And so she was very nice. She just wanted to, she's like, is it okay if I put my little guy in there? I'm like, of course. Want to make sure that the little guy, he <laughs> looked like he was like slightly smaller than Guido. He's a little Frenchy thing. And he sat right in it. And I was like, oh, this is mine now. And I'm like, perfect. And she already, she had money with her and everything. So she had already planned to buy this thing. So I was super happy. I am sad. Um, <laughs> I do slightly feel like I gave away something of um, a piece of my heart dog. But on the secondary side, watching her dog enjoy it. Um, she, I, it was folded down and she was going to kind of wheel it to her truck and he jumped on top of it so <laughs> I'm like okay this makes me feel a lot better that I'm selling it um and B it's not rotting on our front porch anymore because there's no way Ludo can fit in this thing so knowing that another dog and another person are gonna get a lot a lot more out of it than I have been makes me feel a lot better but it is really sad and I've been crying over it for the past week since I've been contacting with this woman and like trying to set up a time to come, I meet her and uh, yeah, but yeah, <laughs> that was that was hard. Uh, I'm not crying as badly as I was this week, but uh, this is hard. <laughs>
Nobody prepares you when you lose your heart dog, how, to, how, to, how hard it is. And knowing that somebody else and another dog is going to get enjoyment out of that stroller makes me happy, but it also makes me super sad because <laughs> it was a piece. It was something I bought for Guido, so today, today's been kind of hard because I knew we were going to do this today, and I'm like trying not to lose my crap, and ugh. Just the heat, Pluto. This boy right here brings me a lot of joy. <laughs> He's such a butt, though. I need to go for a run or something. Because now I'm sad, <laughs> but it's really warm out. <laughs> and I need to decide. I think we're gonna. I found brats, original impossible brats. So I might have those tonight for dinner. I don't know. To see how I'm feeling. I want to cook out. Like I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to grill, but we need a new grill. So yeah. I also want some of that pasta salad. I might go to Family Fair and grab some pasta salad because they have really yummy macaroni salad. Um. So I might go do that. I don't know. <sighs> hey, what are you doing? What are you doing, Ludo? <gasps> Hi, Andamans. Hey, bud. Come here. Come on. Come here. What the heck? I just see. Huh. Interesting. What are you doing? What are you doing? Sir, come here. Come on, sir. Hi, we you doing? We you doing? Okay, you ready? Don't mess with it. Did you just? Did you? Did you eat him? That was rude. Number one, I don't know what's going on here, but this is where he's been most of the night. I have the boys out for one last potty break, and we're gonna go watch some good horror movies, our first round of horror movies. For my vacation, like, our holiday weekend, Ludo's chasing birds. It's adorable. <laughs> but I'm gonna start watching um, the whole bunch of Shudder movies um, for the holiday weekend, and so far, I've already watched one, and I thought it was, I thought it was okay. Um, and I'm actually gonna watch an evening, I think it's called An Evening with the Devil, um, on Shudder. And then there's another one, it's a French one that I heard. Um, if you haven't watched, it was a, oh, it was a long time ago, but it was a, Movies to Die For was a series, and they came out with them for, like, four or five years in a row, and I loved these. Like, I was obsessed with them, and I tried to watch as many as possible. This one was French. Stuck with me. It was about this, like, they were riding in France, and then this, these three, like, people are running away from the police. They end up at this farmhouse, and it's this deranged family. And it is, some of those parts have stuck with me, and apparently, the way it sounds, it's a lot like that. So I want to find it, because I'm a weirdo, and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we're going to try and find that one. But I'm definitely going to watch An Evening with the Devil. And I might watch that other one tomorrow night. I don't know. We'll see. But, yeah. I just, I need to get these guys to go potty. And then come back for the stairs. So I think we're supposed to have storms, too. So, there we go.